So, today I will do a couple of practice problems. Okay. Uh, you should uh, also in addition to these pro practice problems, I also encourage you to look at the textbook suggested for the course to see practice problems in them. Uh, in particularly this this part is very well discussed in the in the book by Macquarie. Okay. So, let us pick a couple of practice problems. So, the first one I will read out the problem. Suppose we have a distribution p of x given by 1 by root pi e to the minus x square and we change variable using y equal to x square. What is p of y? The distribution of y. Okay. So, suppose you have a distribution of one variable and you change the variable then how do you look at the distribution of the new variable? Okay. Now, this is uh, in order to solve this uh, you need to think a little bit more about uh, how this transformation of variables and what it does to the probability distribution. Okay. You remember that uh, you always have the condition that integral p of x dx over the range from minus infinity to plus infinity this should be equal to 1. Okay. And so, what you would expect is that if you change the variable y then you would also have integral p of y dy over whatever the range of y this should be equal to 1 okay, over the range of y since uh, y is x square x is uh, so y has to be positive. So, it will be 0 to infinity. So, this should be equal to 1. Okay. So, when we make this transformation you have to satisfy this condition. Okay. So, what we do is we choose a transformation that satisfies p of x dx equal to p of y dy. So, we choose a transformation that satisfies this and so what you will get is uh, you can show that uh, this works out to be uh, p of y equal to p of x into dx by dy and uh, I can write this as p of x divided by dy by dx. So, what we have is p of y is equal to p of x divided by dy by dx. Now, uh, this equation is actually a little misleading because what you are supposed to write is in this equation you are supposed to write x as a function of y. So, I should actually write this as p of x of y. Okay. So, so wherever I have x in the expression for p of x I replace it by y divided by dy by dx and again dy by dx should be this should be expressed as a function of y. Okay, so, let us go ahead and do this. So, so what you have is y equal to x square dy by dx is equal to 2 x, but this is expressed as a function of x. So, if you want to express this, that of, uh, express this as a function of y you will get 2 root square root of y okay, because x is nothing but square root of y. And so, what you will get now uh, I can write p of y. Okay, so, what I have is 1 over square root of pi and I have e to the minus x square is nothing but e to the minus y. Okay. And then I have to divide this by divide this by this derivative. So, so, it should be into 1 over 2 square root of y. Okay. So, what we had initially was p of x is equal to 1 over square root of pi e to the minus x square and uh, when we set x square equal to y in the probability distribution for y not only does this change, but also there is an, uh, there is an additional factor. Okay. So, uh, this problem is a very general problem that shows how you go from distribution of one variable to distribution of another variable. Okay. So, it can be used uh, it is a general method that can be used to transform from one variable to another. Okay. So, the next problem that I want to do is a more specific problem and this is related to the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of velocity components. Okay, and we will also use uh, some of what we learned from the previous problem here. Okay. So, uh, p of v x v y v z is proportional to e to the minus m v x square plus v y square plus v z square divided by 2 k b t. So, what you are asked to do is to normalize this function and calculate the distribution of speed so, this is a distribution of three components. So, it is a multidimensional distribution it has three components and you 
convert it to a distribution of a single quantity v which is given by square root of v x square plus v y square plus v z square and then you calculate the average speed most probable speed and the root mean square average speed of this Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Okay. So, again uh, you can do this uh, it is a very standard exercise when you do kinetic theory of gases. Okay. So, just to show how you will go ahead and do this. So, first let us look at the normalization. So, notice that P of V x V y V z okay, is equal to e to the minus m v x square by 2 k b t into e to the minus m v y square by 2 k b t into e to the minus m v z square by 2 k b t. Okay. So, what we realize is that this distribution factors into three distributions one that depends only on v x other that depends only on v y and the third that depends only on v z. So, what can you do with this? Now, your condition is that integral p of v x v y v z no oh, this is I should I should write this is proportional to okay, d v x d v y d v z this should be equal to 1. Now, what I can do is I can write this because I see that my this factors into 3 factors I can write this as integral p of v x d v x into integral p of v y d v y into integral of p of v z d v z and what I am going to do is going to insist that each of these is equal to 1 I am going to normalize each of these distributions separately. Okay. So, you know the normalization constant for if you just take 1 v x okay, then you have uh, this, this is equal to a e to the minus half m v x square by k b t. Okay. So, what you can say immediately is that you know the value of this normalization constant to because this is just a Gaussian function. Okay. So, the normalization constant I can write as square root of this quantity a which is which is uh, m m divided by 2 k b t okay, square root of a divided by pi. Okay. So, that is the normalization constant for this and uh, what you can see is that uh, the same normalization constant will appear uh, will apply for p y and p z. Okay. And so, what I can do with this whole exercise, I will just complete the writing of this quantity. Okay, so, this is my normalized p v x. Okay. Again, we use the idea we took this a just from a usual Gaussian function. So, if instead of if you had e to the minus a x square, then the normalization constant is square root of a by pi. So, here instead of a you have m by 2 k b t okay, and so that is what I replaced a by that. Okay. So, now uh, we have the normalization constant for v x we can do similarly for v y and v z and so I can write p of v x v y v z is equal to m by 2 k b t pi raised to 3 by 2 okay, because I because will get half factor from each of them okay. and I will have e to the minus half m v x square plus v y square plus v z square and divided by k b t. Okay, so, this is the normalized Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of velocities. Okay. Now, the next thing that we wanted to do if you go back to the problem is you wanted to calculate the distribution of the speeds p of v. Okay. So, to do this we will just uh, look at this distribution and then what you want to do here you have v x v y v z okay. and what you want to calculate is the distribution of the speed v v. So, here we have 3 variables and here you have only 1 variable 
okay. So, actually what you need to do is to when you look at the expression for v, v is equal to square root of v x square plus v y square plus v z square okay and you immediately realize that uh, this is nothing but the length of this uh, velocity vector okay and so you are going from x y z to a length okay and that should remind you that what you are doing is actually a transformation of coordinates from uh, x y z to spherical polar coordinates. So, you are going from this to there should be two other components one is a theta component and a phi component again these are not uh, important in this uh, description because you can work it out by normalization okay. So, when you do this transformation then uh, the easy way to see what this transformation sh should be is to insist that you should have p of v x v y v z d v x d v y d v z this should be equal to p of v v theta and v phi ok. So, these are the two angular components I am just calling them v theta and v phi ok times Jacobian for this transformation times uh, d v d v theta d v phi ok. So, the way d v x d v y d v z that transforms is a j times this and uh, this j for spherical polar coordinates ok is actually equal to v square sin v theta d v theta d v phi ok. And uh, what we notice is that uh, this distribution this p depends only on v x v y v it depends only on the sum of squares. So, it depends only on v it is independent of v theta and v phi ok. So, this independence allows us to write the following expressions. So, you can write this as p of it depends it is independent of theta and phi. So, I will write it as p of v times v square and this sin theta v theta d theta d phi and then you have a d v ok. So, this whole factor I can just replace by 4 pi ok and then I have a d v ok. So, uh, these are very standard things that you do when you work with uh, curvy linear coordinates or spherical polar coordinates ok. So, you have a 4 pi v square d v ok. So, now I can write this as 4 pi v square now p of v is just uh, p of v you can get by looking at the expression for. So, we notice that this whole thing in this this whole expression is just equal to v square ok. So, that allows us to write this as. So, you keep the normalization factor as it is. So, you have m divided by 2 pi k b t this thing raised to 3 by 2 and you have e to the minus half m v square by k b t ok. So, this is the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of speeds d v ok and uh, what you can say from this is that p of v this is equal to ok. I should uh, call this p prime of v here because what you are doing is you are expressing the original distribution in terms of v x v y v z in terms of in terms of v ok. So, finally, what you will get is uh, you will just identify this whole thing as p of v. So, you will say this is 4 pi v square m by 2 pi k b t raised to 3 by 2 e to the minus half m v square by k b t ok. So, once you have this then you can say that uh, what we did is we had a p of v x v y v z and you had d v x d v y d v z and you went to p of v d v ok. So, this is what gives you the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of speeds. So, then this p of v e is given by this quantity ok. Notice that uh, what you have is you do not have just a Gaussian in this case you have a Gaussian multiplied by a v square in front ok. So, this is the very 
standard Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of speeds that uh, you have seen in your kinetic theory of gases. Now, the next thing is to calculate the average speed, most probable speed and the root mean square average speed of this Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Okay. So, the average speed V is equal to square root of V x square plus V y square plus V z square. Okay. So, uh, this is speed okay. and average speed is equal to uh, integral v times p of v x, v y, v z d v x, d v y, d v z. Okay. And this is a triple integral actually because uh, you are integrating over v x, v y and v z. So, I will just write this as a triple integral. Okay. And each of v x, v y, v z go from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. So, if you want to calculate the average speed, then uh, what you do is again, again you do the transformation to spherical polar coordinates okay. and uh, you can use p of v. Okay. And uh, what you will get is I can write this as 4 pi and then I take the m by 2 pi k b t raised to 3 by 2. So, so I am just copying this expression from here. So, I am just taking this, this expression and bringing this here. Okay. I, I took all this outside the integral and then I have a single integral from 0 to infinity. So, v the speed can only be positive. Okay. So, v goes from 0 to infinity and now I have a v, v into v, v square e to the minus m v square by 2 k b t d v. Okay. So, that is essentially the expression that you get and now you have to evaluate this integral. Okay. Now, uh, this integral goes only from 0 to infinity and you have v cube e to the minus m v square by 2 k b t okay. and uh, you have to evaluate this integral. Okay. So, uh, this is how you will calculate the average speed. Okay. So, the average speed is given by this expression and uh, we can go ahead and do the calculation. I will just write this in a slightly different form. So, I will take the factor of pi outside. So, I will have a pi raised to 3 by 2. So, I will just write it as 4 divided by the square root of pi. Okay. So, and then and then what I will write is m by 2 k b t this raised to 3 by 2 and what I have is uh, integral v cube e to the minus m by 2 k b t v square d v from 0 to infinity. Now, uh, this is actually a standard integral you can do this using gamma functions, but I will just show you how to do it explicitly. Okay. So, I will just show how to do this integral explicitly. So, what we will do is we will put uh, v square equal to t, okay. then 2 v d v equal to d t okay. and so what I can write this. So, I will get 2 by root pi and I have m by 2 k b t raised to 3 by 2 and what I have is integral 0 to infinity. Now, I have t e to the minus t into the factor of m divided by 2 k b t and I have d t. So, this is what uh, the expression looks like and uh, now you can do this integral integrate by parts. Okay. So, when you integrate this by parts, you will get two terms. The first term will be t times the value of this integral okay. and, and the value of this integral is just exponential divided by a constant and uh, basically you have t times e to the minus. So, I will just write this factor as it is. I will not write it out again, okay. but what I will have is uh, two terms. The first term will be t e to the minus t m by 2 k b t divided by minus m by 2 k b t. 
ok. And this has to be evaluated from, uh, from 0 at the boundaries 0 and infinity and the other term will look like integral will look like uh, so, so minus minus it will become plus plus 2 k b t by m and I have integral e to the minus t m by 2 k b t d t from 0 to infinity. So, these are the two terms you have and uh, instantly you realize that uh, this term when uh, t equal to infinity e to the minus infinity goes to 0 uh, much faster than t, t, uh, t goes to infinity. So, this product goes to 0 at infinity, it goes to 0 at when t equal to 0 this term goes to 0. So, this term is equal to 0. The second term ok, we will just have this times this integral. So, the factor of 2 k b t by m times this uh, e to the minus t m by 2 k b t, you can easily do this integral ok. And uh, what that will do is it will give you an additional factor of uh, 2 k b t by m ok. So, what this will give is, uh, is so I will just write it out right now. So, 2 by root pi and I have m by 2 k b t raised to 3 by 2 and I have uh, 2 k b t by m square whole square and then what I have is, uh, so the second square came from doing this integral and I have e to the minus t m by 2 k b t ok, but there was a minus sign. So, the limits are actually infinity to 0 ok when t equal to 0 this is equal to 1, when t equal to infinity this is equal to 0. So, this is just 1 ok. So, finally, what I can write this as, so I have 2, so I can write this as 2 by root pi into 2 k b t by m raised to half. So, if I want to take this 2 inside I have to square this. So, 2 square is 4, 4 into 2 I can write this as 8 k b t divided by pi m raised to half. So, this is the expression for the average speed. So, this is a standard expression that you have seen in lot of the books and we saw how you can get this from the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Now, what about the other, other speeds that you were asked to calculate? You were asked to calculate the most probable speed and the root mean square speed ok. So, the root mean square average speed is actually again fairly easy to calculate. So, the v root mean square ok. So, this is defined as uh, as the, so I can I can say the v square root mean square is the average of v square. So, you take the average of v square ok, then you will get uh, v root mean square the square of that ok or you can write v root mean square is the, or I have been using the slightly different notation for average. So, I will just stick to that I will use our notation. So, it is the average of v square ok or you can write v root mean square as the square root of average of v square ok. So, essentially what you need to do is to you need to calculate the average of v square ok. So, this is nothing but the average of v x square plus v y square plus v z square ok. This I can write as average of v x square plus average of v y square plus average of v z square ok. And now, uh, now if you look at the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution the three directions are identical. So, the three if you look at the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of velocities. So, there is nothing that, that distinguishes x, y and z. In fact, whatever you get for v x square you will get the same for average of v y square and you will get the same for average of v z square. So, I can go ahead and I can calculate v x square average ok. So, I can calculate this. So, now this is only a function of x. So, I can write this as integral from minus infinity to plus infinity v x square times p of v x d v x ok. 
and uh, this this uh, you you can show this again the using the using the integrals that we have seen so so you write this as minus infinity to plus infinity now you have v x square okay now p of v x what we said that that was equal to m by 2 pi k b t raised to half okay the half because you are looking only at v x and e to the minus m v x square by 2 k b t d v x. So, this is the average of v x square and uh, you can show that this is equal to when you when you do this integral you will get this equal to k b t by m. So, all the other factors will go off and what you will be left with is k b t by m okay. and uh, you can similarly show that uh, this is equal to v y square average and this is equal to v z square average. Okay. So, this part it takes a little bit of work to show, but it is not very difficult. Okay. So, then you can write uh, v square average is nothing but uh, k b t by m plus k b t by m plus k b t by m equal to 3 k b t by m okay. or v r m s is equal to square root of 3 k b t by m. Okay. So, this tells you what v r m s is. Now, what about v most probable? So, v most probable most probable So, this uh, implies P of V is maximum. Okay. So, where is P of V maximum? So, P of V uh, we wrote as 4 pi into m by 2 pi k b t raised to 3 by 2 and you had V square e to the minus m V square by 2 k b t. Okay. And uh, so, if this is maximum means the derivative of this with respect to v should be 0. So, d p of v by d v at v equal to v most probable equal to 0. Okay. And, so, and so, you have to take the derivative of this quantity and uh, this if you work out you will get v most probable equal to 2 k b t by m under root of that. Okay, you, you have to work this out and you will get this result. Okay. So, uh, so, with this I conclude this uh, practice problem and uh, in the next class we will go to the second module. Thank you.